so interesting about Camilla as a character in this movie is that so much of her presence is hidden. And so when she turns up, there's already so much implied history. Um, and so when she meets Elizabeth, it's quite a powerful moment, but their relationship is powerful because of the absence. How did you guys work on getting that chemistry right? Because that's quite a tough relationship to do. And the moment you start interacting, you're going to influence it. Yeah, that's why Fede didn't want us to hang out. Uh, so, you know, we did everything separately, going, you know, from costume fittings, makeup fittings, everything. We didn't see each other. And he really wanted to keep that distance between us. And he was right because, you know, I really like her and we would have had a much harder time like giggling in between the takes and stuff, you know, being stupid as, you know, as you um, do in between takes because you are stupid because it makes it fun. But uh, um, yeah, I think he did a great job on keeping us apart. When you talk about the makeup and the costuming, did Claire not see you in that big red impressive getup until sort of on the set? Or did yeah, she see that? I think yeah. so. I didn't think, I don't, maybe she did. Yeah, maybe she saw photos or something, but I think, yeah, for us to see each other, yeah, for the first time, you know, opposite. I mean, you know, it was not, we didn't shoot it very chronologically. Okay, so, of course. Yeah. Uh, have you read the book, the Girl on the Spider's Web book? Uh, yes. Yeah, I so um, I wanted to talk about some of the changes made to the character because she's quite different in the book. I yeah. think um, much more straight up sadistic mm -hmm. in the book, where she's much more sympathetic here. Mm -hmm. And I think both characters work in their respective stories. But I just wonder if you could talk about how you feel about those changes and how you think it affects Camilla as a character and how audiences are going to react to her. Well, that was the most important thing for me. Um, taking Camilla on as a character to find the vulnerabilities and to find openings for the audience to be able to identify with her, to explain, you know, I'm here because that happened to me. Not only to show her as a victim, to show her as a powerful woman as well, but to show that vulnerability in a sense that, you know, why didn't you come for me? Why did you help everyone else? Why, do you, why didn't you, you know, and you get a reaction from Lisbeth, you know, a reaction that as an audience, you know, it does something to you. I mean, when I read the script, you know, the girl that overcomes everything, you know, can't look at her past, can't look at it, can't get over any of those things. One of the most striking scenes in the film, and it's in the trailer, is when um, you've got the um, the plastic wrapping around, and you're you're in that scene, you're watching it. How was it doing that scene? Because that is like a highly emotional thing and to do it and to do it with that emotional coldness, how was that scene shot and how did that impact you as an actor? Um, well, it's interesting what happens when you take on a role, I think, I mean, with what happens to me without sounding too like spiritual or, you know, um, or too hippie, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> you know, what happens most of the time, you know, you do a lot of research and you, um, you get into the character, and at a certain moment, it's like the character takes over. It's like you're on set, and you're in the moment, and all of a sudden she's there. She's like, hey, you know, uh, I'm here, let's do this. So a lot of the times I'm in the moment, and I let it lead me, I guess, in a certain direction, instead of anticipating what is going to happen. And uh, I'd be remiss not talking about Blade Runner, which was one of my favorite films of last year, oh, in which you also played a warped mirror of the main character. So I wondered, taking on this role, did you notice those parallels and did you do anything to make sure that Love and Camilla maintained as these very different uh, people? How did you Yeah, do hence that? the look. Like, the look oh. was, very diff was very important for me. When I read the script, I loved Camilla, but it was, that was the most important thing for me, to show her vulnerability, but also to really be different from love. Because I saw, you know, uh, yeah, that's true. They, she mirrors, again, someone's pain and someone's longing, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and for me, you know, love was such a different creature. Uh, you know, um, a very muscular, perfect, almost android, where Camilla has the scars in her face, and that's why I wanted to show that pain and the damage already in the beginning, because I don't have a lot, a lot of time to, to explain it to the audience. So I want it, from the moment she steps in, I wanted that pale, paleness, the look and the scars to see, you know, I've had a difficult time. This is me. <laughs>